Welcome on behalf of Royal British Legion Scotland and Poppy Scotland. On this day 75 years ago, the lights came back on all over Europe. There were great celebrations, but there was also sadness too. The King made a speech talking about the constancy and courage, the sacrifice and the endurance of those who had fought and died. He also talked of the common purpose of this country, which had fought and survived. Eight days later, the King, the Queen and the Princesses came here to St Giles Cathedral in Edinburgh to give thanks for the peace based on justice and goodwill and to commit this country to make a lasting peace and to strive for those ideals that the dead would have wanted for all children. The service today is based on music and readings from that service 75 years ago. Today, on this VE day in lockdown, we give thanks for 75 years of peace and to commit ourselves to those same ideals that we might strive for a world where children are safe and healthy, achieving, nurtured, active, respected, responsible and included. Today we remember that God walks with us every step of the way and for peace made and peace still in the making.
Jesus said, Do not let your hearts be troubled, neither let them be afraid. Let us pray. Let us give thanks for the men and women who responded to the call to serve, who through their commitment and sacrifice, hopes and dreams brought peace to Europe. Let us give thanks for the Scottish people who gave of their all, whose pain and suffering brought forth a world where the ideals of justice and freedom of opinion and life in all its fullness are fundamental so that we might live in peace. Let us give thanks for the young people of our own day and for all who will shape the future of Scotland, that they may be inspired by their predecessors to serve as they serve. Hear our prayers, O God of love. Let prayers arise for those who still bear the marks of war, the wounds which have not healed, the grief of widows, widowers and children who still live with their memories, for the survivors of the Holocaust, whose tattoos have barely faded over the years. Let prayers arise for Her Majesty's armed forces, who continue in their peacekeeping duties, who strive for reconciliation and equity between nations and stand in the difficult places of the world today supporting the valiant efforts of the NHS. Let prayers arise for Her Majesty the Queen. We give thanks for her resolute service in the armed forces and for her sacred service to this country. Hear our prayers, O God of love. Let us commit to care for and bind the wounds of veterans, to comfort the people who grieve, to challenge all forms of injustice, bigotry and anti-Semitism, to strive for hope and reconciliation within our homes and communities, to continue to work for a lasting peace and look forward to enjoying the freedoms which have been built on for the last 75 years. Hear our prayers, O God of love. Our prayers are made in the name of the one who created all that is and was and will be, love incarnate. Amen. Make a joyful noise to the Lord, all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come into his presence with singing. Know that the Lord is God. It is he that made us and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him. Bless his name. For the Lord is good his steadfast love endures forever and his faithfulness to all generations. Cathy Drummond is a veteran and a war widow. During the war, she served her country. She met and married the love of her life and gave birth to her daughter. VE Day was a bittersweet experience for Cathy and she now tells us her story. I'm Catherine, 98 years of age. I joined the Air Force and became a wireless operator learning the Morse code. I was posted to Owen where I was had happy times and met my husband John. Sadly, he was reported missing, presumed killed, when his plane crashed into the sea off the coast of Italy. My daughter was born a month later, 
So when VE Day came, I was very sad, but happy that the men and women came home from the war and also that it was the end of the war. Kathy's story is not unique. She is typical of many people who lost loved ones during the war. Her resilience is an example to us as we go through these challenging times. Psalm 126 When the Lord brought back the captivity of Zion, we were like those who dream. Then our mouth was filled with laughter and our tongue with singing. Then they said among the nations, The Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us, and we are glad. Bring back our captivity, O Lord, as the streams in the south. Those who sow in tears shall reap in joy. He who continually goes forth weeping, bearing seed for sowing, shall doubtless come again with rejoicing, bringing his sheaves with him. Thanks be to God. During the Second World War, the people of Scotland gave of their all. We remember today the people who paid the ultimate sacrifice and those who returned home to a world of peace. They fought in desert, mountain and on country lane. They fought in submarine, ship and merchant vessel. They fought in fighters, bombers and as part of a ground crew. They fought extinguishing fires, driving ambulances and keeping the home fires burning. They fought as a prisoner of war and as an inmate of a concentration camp. Today, we give thanks for all those who fought for a world without war, and we commit ourselves to those same ideals. So let us stand and remember. They shall grow not old, as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun, and in the morning, we will remember them.
when you go home, tell them of us and say, for your tomorrow, we gave our today. God grant to the living grace, the departed peace, the church, the queen, the commonwealth, and all people, peace and concord, and to us and all God's servant, life everlasting, and the blessing of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you, with the people you love, and the people you find it difficult to love, this day and forevermore. Amen.